Product not yet rated. Hey there, I'm Dan Toos, a designer from the Creative Assembly, and I'm going to be taking you through a video preview of the Britannia campaign, one of the four brand new campaigns in Medieval 2, Total War Kingdoms. Britannia is set in the year 1258, a time when England, led by King Henry III, was the dominant force within the British Isles. However, England has faced a growing resistance to their rule, not only from the lands that they have conquered, but within their own ranks as well. Expansion into Wales and Ireland has left their forces spread thinly across their provinces, leaving their borders exposed to attack. The Welsh, inspired by their self-appointed King Llewellyn, waste no time in rising against the English. Llewellyn's ability to unite his people and quickly create vast armies of infantry and archers is key to the success of their rebellion. The Irish chieftains, meanwhile, have thrown their support behind one man, fellow chieftain Brian O'Connor, the recently appointed King of Ireland, as they attempt to drive the English back and reclaim their lands. England's reputation with the Scots is salved by royal marriage. But threatened by the Viking invasion on their northern shores, the Scots must surely seize this opportunity to throw away this fragile alliance and win back their lands from the English. Should the war against the English turn sour, the Scots have their own inspirational leader. William Wallace emerges with hordes of Highland warriors to repel the threat and take command of the Scottish forces. Meanwhile, the Viking invasion continues in earnest. Led early on by the King's son, this culminates in the arrival of King Hawkinson himself, accompanied by his mighty royal fleet. The destination of these Norwegian invasion fleets will be a major factor in the outcome of the Britannia campaign. England has more than just these rival nations to worry about. Descent within their lands is rife. They are threatened by full-scale rebellion on their hands, as the English barons unite to turn on the king. Loyalty within the English ranks becomes crucial, as Simon de Montfort rallies together this barons' alliance, recruiting any general with wavering loyalty to their cause against the king. Rival nations can even work to support this uprising at the barons' request, to provide the platform for the alliance to grow, and ultimately create another thorn in the side of the English. Whichever nation you choose to command, the network of forts built around key strategic points throughout the British Isles will be crucial to your military success. Seize a fort in an enemy region and the effects of your presence can be devastating to your enemy's prosperity. Forts can also be used to garrison troops cheaply, allowing the freedom to build bigger armies than ever before. You can then take these armies into battle where they can command reinforcement armies for the first time. Will you steer the English through this turbulent period of rebellion and unrest to expand their superiority over Britain? Take command of one of the conquered nations and rise up against the dominant force of the English. Or perhaps you'll take control of the invading forces of Norway and sweep all Britannia aside under the wave of your Viking hordes. There are no empty rebel regions to act as a buffer between the rival nations. So you must choose enemies and allies quickly and decisively. The scene is set for a fast-paced campaign featuring five warring nations equipped with huge armies in a bitter struggle to claim the lands of Britannia as their own. That concludes this preview of the Britannia campaign. Join us next time as we continue to guide you through the four new epic campaigns that make up Medieval 2 Total War Kingdoms.